founded in California in 1994, DreamWorks Animation has skyrocketed to become an incredible force in the entertainment industry. Co-founder of DreamWorks, Jeffrey Katzenberg, says, at DreamWorks Animation, the future for our movies and the future for innovation are somewhere near the word unlimited. And DreamWorks' ability to secure Hollywood's biggest names seems to be unlimited also, with Jerry Seinfeld and Renee Zellweger lending their voices for the lead characters of DreamWorks' box office hit, B-Movie. It's a lot of fun. It's funny because you would expect that you'd feel, you know, safe because, you know, it's just you in a room and a microphone and you're not really standing in front of cameras. It felt so vulnerable because it is just you and the microphone in a room and you don't have all those wonderful, you know, um, other variables to play with. There's no costume, there's no set. So what you come up with is just internal, really. And it's oftentimes not very good. <laughs> Actress Reese Witherspoon was the voice of Susan Murphy in another DreamWorks hit animation, 2009's Monsters vs. Aliens. You know, being a mom, I have to watch these movies like over and over and over again, so uh, being part of one that has great humor for grown-ups, great humor for kids, has great themes in it, messages for children is like the most you could hope for in an animated film, so I'm really happy to be a part of this one. It took some 45.6 million computing hours to make Monsters vs. Aliens, more than eight times more than the original Shrek. And when I watched the movie, the sequence that got me the most was at the very beginning when I saw the meteorites coming to Earth. And they slowly came over my right shoulder, and then my left shoulder, and then over my head and below my feet. I'm 42 years old. And I found myself looking over my shoulder, going, where are they coming from? Wow. You know, I took my grandson, uh, actually, in an odd way, yesterday, uh, to the movie in Los Angeles. And I just wanted to see his face, the, the wonder, you know? Seth Rogen plays an indestructible, gelatinous mass in the movie and can see some similarities with his character. That's me. It's based off me. So it's, uh, it looks good, I think. I think it, look, it resembles me. DreamWorks Monsters vs. Aliens was the first computer animated movie to be directly produced in a stereoscopic 3D format, which added $15 million to the film's budget. Former Disney executive and animation guru Jeffrey Katzenberg focuses on the company's new innovations and says all feature films released by DreamWorks Animation will now be produced using Intel's InTrue 3D technology. This is amazing new technology and it's not that old goofy uh, 3D that uh, you know with our parents used to do this kind of silly stuff in it. It's a very exciting immersive way to see a film and experience a story and uh, I think it's the wave of the future. It's the beginning of a new era for, for movie going. From Shrek and its sequels to Kung Fu Panda, the box office hits keep rolling for DreamWorks. You know, it's been phenomenal. And, and uh, actually, you know, I think people always, you know, think of Shrek as our biggest and most successful franchise. And I guess in total, at least maybe until Madagascar 2 comes along, uh, it, it has been. But Madagascar as an original movie it was actually uh, our biggest film uh, until only just a, a few weeks ago uh, when Kung Fu Panda took the crown. DreamWorks Animation is also committed to using top-tier talent with a strong sense of creativity and innovation. Well, the Chinese market has been fantastic. You look at uh, Kung Fu Panda, we just had a, just a, couldn't have had a bigger blockbuster hit. I think it's the third biggest hit ever in China. Right. Um, so, you know, our movies do very well there. The Chinese market has been fantastic for us, and, uh, you know, it's part of why we're back here in Hong Kong.